Oh, we are going to be talking about positive and number, negative numbers, uh, temperature problems. So, uh, what are uh, what are positive and negative numbers? Uh, they are positive numbers are greater than zero. Negative numbers are less than zero. Why do we have them in this case? Uh, it can help you understand subatomic particles in science, which are the electrons, protons, and neutrons. Do you know which one is uh, positive, neutral, and negative? Just look at, you can take a look at the, the words, and it'll help you. P for positive, neutral for uh, neutron, and that leaves negative for electrons. If you got that correct, well done. Um, interesting fact, what is your favorite number? Is it seven? Because that's the most popular favorite number. Uh, let's continue. So if you follow these five steps, you'll get a correct uh, the, ma the majority of the time. Uh, if you didn't get it correct, then you just try again. Uh, step one, draw a number line. Step two, circle the number. Second, uh, the starting numbers. Step three, determine if it's a colder or warmer statement. Step four, move in that direction. And then step five, box your answer. Let's go on to the first example. Uh, what is three degrees colder than four degrees? So in this case, Four degrees is my starting number. Why? Because that is the one you are changing. So, uh, so since we are changing that one, we are going to go ahead and uh, circle that number. Then we're going to uh, determine, since it says colder, we're going to go to the colder side. And then we're going to go there three times. One, two, and three. And we're going to box the one, which is now my answer, one degree Celsius. Let's do a question with this one. Four degrees Celsius is three degrees Celsius warmer than what? Same numbers, but it's worded differently. Is it, is it gonna change the uh, question? Let's see. So, in this case, we gotta remember, in mathematics, is represents equal. So we changed is to equals, and since four degrees Celsius is all by itself, uh, that is my result. So we're gonna go ahead and box it. So, oh, as you can see, we are working backwards. Uh, so let's see. Warmer. So that means we are going to go, uh, we don't know which way. We could go left or right. But if we follow the the, the, the line over the, this, this graph right here, uh, that means warmer has to be on the right, always. So we're going to get rid of that. That means my starting number uh, is uh, to the left of warmer. So we go to the left three times, one, two, and three. And we're gonna circle the starting number. So that means my answer is one degrees Celsius. Okay, let's uh, do the other cases, just in case you would like to see that. Okay, so we have example 2a. What is two degrees warmer than five degrees Celsius? So since we are Changing a uh, negative five degrees Celsius, that is my starting number. So we're gonna go ahead and circle that. Then we're going to go figure out if it's warmer or colder. It says warmer in the question. So we're gonna go to the right. How many? Two times. So one and two. And then we box my answer, negative three. And then you know it, when it's negative three Celsius is the final answer. Let's do one last example. This time we're going to change the wording and see if it affects it. Uh, remember, in math, is represents equals. So, uh, so that means negative 5 is by itself. That means it's the result. So we're going to go ahead and box my answer. And then we're going to work backwards. And let's see. So that means that we're dealing with colder. So that means colder is my answer. So we, which way is warmer? Warmer is always to the right. So we know we can get rid of the warmer on the left. And that means we're going colder. So that means my starting number has to be to the right of, of the negative 5. So we're going two times because it says it right there in the question. 1 and 2. And that means my starting number is negative 3, which means my answer is negative 3 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that means uh, it's your turn now. And there you go. I'll give you a few seconds to pause the video.
So I can show you the answers. Three, two, and here are the answers. If you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, there's always tomorrow. Uh, 